let's talk more about what you're doing with Executive Next Practices Institute and the uh, Super Bowl in Phoenix. Well, one of the things that I've done for the last 28 years is cover the Super Bowl. Uh, I started doing that back in 1994. Um, I started working for uh, the ESPNs, the Fox Sports, the Sports Bylines, you know, basically learning how to break stories at the Super Bowl and to cover the NFL. And what I learned early on is, is that, you know, once one or two days went by at the Super Bowl, the players at the Super Bowl were tired of being asked the same questions over and over about the game, that they began to trust me because I would tell their story and let them tell their story in a more expanded fashion uh, through Q&A, through written, you know, through radio, television, social networking. So these other outlets began to realize that, hey, these are some really interesting stories about people overcoming adversity to get to where they are today. And that. so what we developed with ENP is um, I came to them um, and talked to them about a foundation fundraiser at Super Bowl week, a youth initiative for one week, where we would use the biggest event in the world, the biggest marketing and connection event in the world, grassroots event, sporting event, the Super Bowl. Uh, where we would go into schools, where we would put on camps, where we would have a big fundraising event at EMP at, at UCI uh, for 250 plus, uh, you know, high profile CEOs and companies, uh, bringing in community leaders and then speaking to them about the problem in their community. And so our goal was to use the Super Bowl to infiltrate and get the attention of the public and private schools with our foundation, our drug and alcohol education and life skills program, introduce it. Uh, and then uh, I hired a young lady who was a, a basically a school initiator who went in and made the first uh, initiation to the schools or was a collaborator. And then what we do is we come into that organization and into that community full time into the schools. So basically a lot of events and parties that happen at the Super Bowl come in, get the money, make the attention and leave. Our goal was uh, completely opposite, to come in, invest in the community with the Super Bowl, and then invest full time with our resources, time and program uh, to the, the children uh, and parents of the community. So um, this this ENP Legends and Leaders event that we'll be doing in Phoenix on February Thursday, February 8th, is a innovation and technology event, a networking event where we're using technology and innovation and um, bringing in experts to talk about how that fits with the next generation of leaders or the next generation of students. So we'll be putting on events all week long in Phoenix for Super Bowl this year. And uh, ENP and I are collaborating for the next three Super Bowls uh, in Vegas and New Orleans. So these are top 25 media cities, millions of people, thousands of schools. So if we can make corporate relationships foundation relationships, grassroots, give the corporations what they want, which is a fun time, an opportunity to get their name out there and to be associated with something bigger than themselves. Now we've created momentum. Now we've created something that's repeatable. And now we have the ability to raise the money that we need uh, uh, to be able to, uh, you know, uh, put out our new online program that'll be available to anyone in America in the next year. Uh, so all of our content is available through that Roman Gabriel Show site. And then our sold.tv.com site, if you want to learn more about how to get involved with our foundation for the Super Bowl, you'll just go to our events page at sold.tv.com. And we have a video there showing you what our Super Bowl week looks like and all the details, sponsorship levels, all those things. So we want you guys to get involved with us. It's a fun week. We treat our, our sponsors and our corporates to a lot of fun. They get a lot of access that nobody gets a chance to do. And I bring my high profile NFL players, coaches, past and present, Hall of Famers into our events. Last year was so much fun because um, I grew up watching my dad play for the Rams in the Coliseum in the 60s and 70s to, uh, to you know, 100,000 people and um, to get with his old teammates to have them come to this party, Rams fans to celebrate Super Bowl, a party with a purpose to help kids uh, in the Southern California area through the Sold Out Youth Foundation. So um, we like to have fun with what we do, and that's how we were able to network and make great relationships that are memorable for our partners. Please send your 13 to 20-year-old to students to soldouttv.com. It'll change their lives. We have a brand new 
social engagement system on our phones, so many great tools to help your kids about success, drug and alcohol abstinence, so many life skills tools that they can apply, how to set goals, uh, these very important pillars that kids need to be successful. And the schools, unfortunately, don't have the time to do that. So please send them to soldouttv.com. And parents, we also have a Facebook page called Sold Out Students and uh, Sold Out that you can go to and, and help yourself to, we give you advice on having to have that conversation with your kids about drugs and alcohol. And if you want to get involved with our Super Bowl Foundation event in Phoenix and come out and have a great time with us, go to soldouttv.com, which is also our site for our foundation and go to events and